Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel where we talk about luxury, living our best life, and learning to love from the inside out. Let's get the video started. All right, tonight is a product review. I hope you like that kind of thing. If you find yourself enjoying this video, I hope that you will go ahead and subscribe, click that notification bell, give it a like, if you are already subscribed, thank you so much for returning back. Y'all know I love you. I want to share with you my journey in learning about air filters for the home. Now, I have a couple of different allergies in my life that I do struggle with. And it's, and it's going to sound a little silly, but it is a very serious thing. One is a bit, a bit of a smoke allergy. And what that means is when someone... Um, if I'm around smoke, like let's say um, I'm going somewhere to sing and there's smoking that's going on, like absolutely no judgment going on there, but I do find that throughout the evening I will find it a little bit difficult to breathe, as especially as the night wears on. And then I will experience some issues with that into the next day. So the next thing that worries me or bothers me a little bit is actually dust. I know, I would love to say, oh, I'm allergic to dust, therefore I can't do any house cleaning. Please, law, somebody come in and do it for me. But I cannot do that. <laughs> no one's willing, so I have to do it myself. But honest and truly, I do have an allergy to it. And when I move things around that happen to be dusty, whether it's my home or anyone else's home, I do actually go into a sneezing fit. And then also later on, I will have a little bit of difficulties breathing. Now, I have not been tested for it and a doctor has not looked at me and said, hey, smoking and dust are two things that you are absolutely allergic to. It's just things that I have noticed. I actually have a very dear friend who works at a doctor's office. Maybe I should make an appointment there and she can poke me, which she probably would love to, <laughs> with those things uh, to test to see if I have uh, truly have those allergies. It's just something that I notice that happens around my house. Now, I'm not necessarily allergic to the next things, but they do freak me out, and that is pet dander or dust mites or just general dead skin that has come off of our bodies. So I've been looking into getting an air purifier. When I started doing some research, I learned even other things that I should be thinking about and things that I wasn't even wasn't even on my radar that I went, oh gosh, that would be kind of cool. So while doing some of the research, I was contacted by a company who happened to have an air filter and they wanted to know if I was uh, curious at all or would like to review it. I jumped on it so very quickly. Now this was a couple of months ago, so they sent it to me right away. I have gone long in testing it and seeing if it's the right fit for my household. Um, and then, of course, you guys know other things just in life have been happening, so it's a little bit delayed. And I hate that it's delayed in bringing it to you, but I'm glad that it's delayed in bringing it to you because I have a little more knowledge about this particular device and the wonderful things that it can do. Uh, so I just wanted to chat you through it, uh, talk to you about it, spoiler alert. I love it. I didn't want to love it. When they sent it to me, I was like, mm, okay though, but can it really do all of the things that it says it can do? It just doesn't seem like it should be able to function in that way. So first of all, let's talk about some of the things that it says it's able to do. So, and I, I hope I don't say this the wrong way, but I'm going to say that this is Okaisu or Okaisu. I'm really sorry to the individual from this company who is listening to how badly I am pronouncing that. And I, I'm so sorry about it. But but this is actually the brand and this is exactly what it is. This is, is an advanced medical grade H13 true HEPA air filter. Now you guys are probably really used to hearing the term HEPA air filter. If you have like a shark vacuum cleaner, or I think even Dyson, I'm not sure, but I think they use it as well. 
one of the early things that I loved so much about a shark, like when they first came out with the Navigator, you know, all those years ago, was that they had a HEPA filter. And I was super intrigued by it because it was able to pull things and house things better than your average vacuum cleaner bag. I was actually using a rainbow for a time because I was so nervous about those filters. So the interesting thing about this is it's an H13 true HEPA filter. And what that really means is it takes care of a lot more than just your average HEPA filter. So I'm going to, in the description, I'm not going to waste a lot of time on that particular, but in the description below, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to show you what an actual HEPA filter will do and then what this H13 will do and it's just a lot more and it's actually quite impressive. So the, the things that I was most excited about when I first got this were, right, what it would do within my home. So dust mites, skin, just dust in general. Um, you know, not that I was gonna take it to a bar and see what it did with smoke, but just what it could do with things in my home. And let's talk about some of the experiences that I've had with this, and then I'm gonna show it to you. I've actually got it on right now, and I turned it on for the duration of this video, and it is this close to me. So if I'm gonna tip you, just, whoa, for just a sec, well, look at that. Let me put that behind you. So what I'm doing is if you can see my hand right here, if I lower it, that's where the filter is, the, the HEPA air filter, and I am going to raise my hand, and I can still kind of feel a very gentle breeze. I turned it on for this video because I wanted you to experience how quiet it is and how it doesn't disrupt your world. So I just wanted you to know that. It's, it's very peaceful in your world. It's not disruptive. And here are my experiences. Experience number one. I am someone who does love to cook, but I don't often have time. So uh, there have been moments in time when I may have tried to cook something a little too fast, which has created uh, smoke. Not, I mean, like I haven't tried to burn down my house or anything, but like a higher amount of steam and smells within the house, right? Sometimes you just want to fry some fish or you want to just bake some fish and that creates within itself a certain amount of odors. So uh, I decided to give this a whirl to say, does it work for things like odors of things that you put in? Your, if you've cooked those onions too hard and too fast and you have something that was supposed to be caramelized, but you may have had to scrape the bottom of your nonstick pan just a little bit, like not that that would be me, a friend, a friend told me about that. Um, it's actually really helpful. I turned it on in its nice little unassuming way uh, in a very short period of time, like nothing, like it was just as if. I mean, for my friend, the non-caramelized um, smell had disappeared. So I was quite impressed with that. So if you are somebody who enjoys making like frying things like lumpia or fish or things that tend to have just leave just a little bit of odor in the world, this is really good for that. And, and this product in particular is really good for that. Let's talk about the next thing. One of the earlier tests that I tried was to see what happens to the dust particles. Now, back in the day when I was nine, just kidding, in my very, very early 20s. Now, back in the day, like in my very early 20s, you know, like when you're trying to put yourself through things and you're trying to just live and survive and maybe have something more than ramen noodle, I went through a phase where I sold rainbow vacuum cleaners. Well, I attempted to sell rainbow vacuum cleaners. And one of the, one of the cool experiments that you used to be able to do uh, would be to take a light, like a big power light, and you would kind of run it across the carpet. And what that would do is it would get the dust that sits in your carpet 
going, like it would get it out. And you could raise this light and it would show the dust that's in the air. And then you would turn on the rainbow vacuum cleaner and you would let it sit for a minute and it would show how it would pull the items kind of out of the air. And, and truth, truth time, a rainbow vacuum cleaner is a wonderful thing. And I really, to this day, believe that it does work. That's I, I, I'm firm in that particular product. I think it's wonderful. The only downside is, is that thing costs $2,000. This item that I'm talking about that's going to do the same thing doesn't cost $2,000. It doesn't even cost $100. So, you know, I'm thinking pretty cool. Uh, so... This, I, so I did that, right? So I have a lamp that I use in my artist area and I got it all unhooked and I you know, rubbed it across the bottom. I pulled the lamp up and sure enough, I mean, there's some dust there. There will always be a little dust there. Um, no matter if you've just vacuumed, it's just one of those things. And I brought the HEPA, this, the, I brought this air filter over and I just turned it on. And again, very quiet. I just kind of let it do its thing for just a little bit. Really took it right out of the air. Very, very impressed with that. The only other thing I have seen do that, to be really honest, was like an attachment. Like what was it called? The rain, rain something. It was a, a like a, a small thing from Rainbow that you could sit in your room and what it would do is it would just pull things out of the room, but it wasn't good enough to do like larger rooms. This particular item can actually do larger rooms and we'll talk about that in just a minute. So I will say that from my personal experience, I firmly believe that this little item, and by, and by the way, when, when they sent it to me, I thought it was going to be this really huge thing. I mean, I thought it was going to be like, like up to here. I didn't really have a knowledge of what the sizes were. And you're, you're going to see in just a minute that it's really not that big at all. It's not intrusive to your home, but the benefit that you get from it is so incredible. And keep in mind, I've had it for a couple of months. It's not just a couple of weeks. So I've had the opportunity to kind of like run it in different places and uh, just experience it. And I think it's been pretty phenomenal. And even the individuals in my house um, haven't even, I mean, I don't even know that they've been, uh, I don't know that they've even noticed it. It's just been very nice and quiet. It's, uh, you can actually um, like set it to run when you want it to run. You can just go by and go, oh, it's, I'd like to run it right now. And you can just turn it right on. Um, it's, it's really wonderful. So it has, I, I believe, now I can't scientifically prove it, but I do believe that it has removed the amount of dust in my home. Now, here's how that's super important. So when you're trying to do your weekly, I do not dust every day. I don't have time for that kind of thing. I do try to make it a weekly thing that I do. And I have found that uh, using this particular item, I do find the home to be a bit less dusty. That's super important. Now here is where the really impressive thing comes in. You guys know that I love to camp and you also know that I live in Florida. Now in Florida, there's something called a no see bug. And you, it's like a mosquito-y kind of thing, but it's, you, you really can't, you don't see them. You don't see them in the general area. You can't look at them and find them to swat them and get rid of them, but they are there and they will bite. And they're pesky little things. In Florida, we even look for in our tents, it has to have a mesh that says no see screens or we don't even purchase the tent. We'll talk about that another day. But it's, a, it's trouble. And if you go in and out of your tent a lot when you're camping, especially in the evening time when the bugs are out, a mosquito will wander or a noceum may wander, especially if you've got your little light on in your tent and maybe you're leaving your tent to go use the restroom and you're coming back in. They are going to find their way in there and then you have to play the game of getting rid of them. Enter the air purifier. So really interesting, Lee enough, uh, took it. I do electronically camp, so no judgment either way there. I do enjoy having um, a ways to plug in a fan or a heater or air filters, that kind of thing. 
I will tell you, I do like to in the evening kind of go in, uh, turn my light on, read for a little bit, just relax after I've enjoyed the fire and then and then find my way to go to sleep. So I turned this air filter on. Sure enough, I had gotten a couple of bugs. Now, if you're not into camping, don't freak out. It's not like they were everywhere along the walls. Walls. I mean, like we're not talking about like a horror movie of like the frogs or anything. I'm just saying there were some noticeable mosquitoes. And then that tells me that there's probably the unnoticeable noceums. This actual... <laughs> This actually works for taking mosquitoes out of the air. Like, I, I don't even know what happened. So I don't know if the mosquitoes saw the light that I'm about to show you and they were like, mm -mm, I don't want any part of that. I'm getting out of this tent. Or if they're somewhere, I don't know where because I didn't see them in the HEPA filter. But I'm telling you, I was able to enjoy my evening. I left my tent. I came back in. There were mosquitoes and then there were not mosquitoes. And I don't really know what magic that is, but I am really grateful for it. And I can't tell you that I won't be bringing it along the next time because I do find that to be a very cool feature. So I think it's going to be a regular in my camping supply. Now, I've given you the wonderful, you know, oh, it does wonderful things story. But what I'd like to do now is I'd like to flip this camera around and I'd like to show you the filter. Not the, yeah, I'd like. I'm sorry, I keep calling it a filter. Would you please forgive me? It's an air purifier. I'd like to show you this air. I started talking about the filter first, right? And that kind of messed me up. I'd like to show you the air purifier and just, just tell you a little bit about it before we end this, all right? So hold on just one moment. Okay, so let me introduce you to the Advanced Medical Grade H13 True HEPA filter, air filter. It is model number Air Mic 4S. And so here is, here is the pamphlet on it. So you can take a look. I wanna show you real quickly some of the items that you'll see on here. So let me turn it kind of maybe this way. There we go, I think that's probably a little bit easier for you to see. So this is just your basic on off button. We all know what that looks like. So just a quick touch of that is gonna turn it right on. And then you have a fan speed. So right now it's kind of on low. I can turn it to be a little bit higher and it's really, um, it's got such a lovely uh, feel to it. I dig it. Now there is a sleep mode button and that's right over here. And what that means is you can turn that on and the, um, all the indicator lights are going to turn off because it's nighttime and the fan speed actually goes right to the lowest mode over here. So I'm just going to press it real quick and you'll notice that everything uh, goes dark so you could actually use this in your room or your child's room and it's just, it, it goes really, the, the, the fan goes on the lowest setting, everything turns off. I kind of like the glow of it. I mean, not if I'm sleeping, but I'd like to look at the glow, so I'm turning that back on. Now there is a timer function, which is right over here, and you can set it uh, for uh, the two hours, you can set it for four hours or for eight hours. Um, or you could just kind of simply push the power button and that's fine too. Now there is also a dimmer button. So let's say that, you know, you don't really want to put it in the nighttime mode, but you do want to dim the light just a little bit. You just kind of push this and it changes how you would like for it to be. It doesn't affect the fan. So it's turned it off, but it's still blowing at its highest speed. Of course, you could turn it up again. So it's off, high, and then a little bit lower and then off. So I'm gonna turn it back on because I like to see it. So then there is, the next thing that I wanna show you is this little button right here. Now when that comes on, that means that it's time to take care of your air filter. And that is something that's gonna be really important to do, right? Because it's only as good, right? If you, if you clog up that filter and you don't clean it, it's not gonna be able to function as well as you want it to function. So let me turn this off. And I'm just gonna flip it over real quickly. And I'm just gonna show you. 
super, super easy. Number one, do you see how small this is? It's lightweight. I just, I love it. It's, you can, you can take this anywhere. Truly love this. To get to the filter, you simply just turn it this way and you pull it up and you're able to get to it and you can take it out and clean it. It will have the instructions for you there. And then when you're done with it and you're ready to put it back in, it's just a matter of taking it, pushing it, getting it in the right spot so it slides down in and then turning it, which locks it, and then you're ready to go again. Beautiful as ever. Turn it right back on and it's working its magic. Now, I just wanted to recap the whole video for you real quickly. I got it in. I was really not wanting to love it as much as I have, but I do. I love it. I think the company is a good company. Um, the individual who has been working with me has been really on answering things very quickly. They sent the item very quickly. I will actually say that I have been the lagging individual. Um, I wanted to test it. I have had things going on in my life. Um, I'm grateful that they've given me this opportunity because it's a good item. And I would absolutely purchase this if they had not given if, if, if I knew about it and I didn't have it in my home and someone said, really, this is one you should try, because I was already looking at air purifiers, I would have no problem and I wouldn't be sad about having spent the money. I am going to leave the link for you uh, down below, again, also in the description. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to me to ask them, and I will direct them uh, to the individual that I have been working uh, with to, to help you out in any way that I can. So if you struggle with asthma or if you, if you like me, have, have moments where if you are around uh, smoke, you have a little bit of trouble breathing, or if when you get near or try to move dust, you sneeze and you wheeze, um, you know, this might be a good option for you. I will also say very quickly, um, I did <laughs> I did put it in my, um, my lair, and I did, I mean, like everywhere else, I did notice that there, like the uh, amount of dust is less, right? So less out there, less in the room, that means more wonderful things for your handbags. Just uh, there's that as well. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope that it's been helpful for you. I hope that you have a wonderful evening, morning, afternoon, wherever and whenever you happen to be. Just know that I care about you and I wish the very best for you. Until we speak again, bye.